Your vehicle has some convenient storage spots for things like cups, maps, and media devices, as well as the storage capacity for any larger items you may need to take with you. Let me tell you about them. For starters, there are dual glove box compartments, a larger lower locking compartment located on the passenger side, and an upper compartment located at the top of the dash panel. Additionally, there are both driver and passenger map pockets in the front doors. The spacious center armrest console offers additional storage opportunity, including stowing a laptop, electronic devices, work gloves, as well as the capability to hang files and more. Plus, it offers two 12-volt power points to charge gadgets. You may also have a hidden compartment for smaller items that features two USB ports, which can be used to power electronic devices such as tablets, phones, and MP3 players. A unique beverage tray can go from two cup capacity to four by just sliding the top of the cup holder over, like this. Or you may have a middle underseat storage bin accessible under the center console lid, perfect for storing items out of sight but within reach. Your vehicle may also have convenient locking storage underneath the rear seats to keep longer items stowed away, neatly and safely. Just lift the rear seat bottom to access. When you do, you'll notice a flat load floor perfect for items that need more cargo space, or it can be converted into a deployable storage bin under the rear seats. To do so, slide the top panel lock into the unlock position. Lift the top panel and you'll notice the side panels will unfold. Next, pull the side panel locking lever all the way up until you hear it click into position. It's that simple. To retract, just follow the steps in reverse order. There's also a built-in partition that allows you to divide the compartment into two separate bins. Just swing it out and snap it into position. For extra security, you can lock the seats individually if needed, so they can't be lifted. Just use the key supplied with the fob and insert it into the lock cylinder on the side of the seat and turn it clockwise to lock, counterclockwise to unlock. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.